Hey y'all, it's me, the RTV, here bringing you the Temple of Ice in the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. As you all know, with the Temple of Ice comes ice puzzles and the slippery ice, so watch your step, don't fall off. We're just gonna start off by going to the back, to the rear of the temple. Take care of these mofos right here. Notice the the lack of cursing. <coughs> Capone tone. All right, now we're gonna head downstairs. What we're gonna do is push this lever, and it's gonna open up the sunroof. And already you can see the format these puzzles are gonna take. Opening up sunroofs, dropping in pushing blocks of ice around and melting the keys inside of them. Not too complicated. Puzzles are fairly decent. So this one's just down and then right. back across, go through, okay, ouch, alright, this room, okay, this room is very annoying, let's get the fuck out of here, okay, cool, nope, nope, yep, oh, okay, there we go, yes, we're going down, Okay, this puzzle is a little trickier than the last. We're gonna start by pushing the bottom one down and then left. Then we're gonna push the top one block of ice left. Then the middle block of ice left. And then up. Then left again. Oh, oh, see if we can get it. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. And then down. Then left again. Up and then right. Ta down. And then we're gonna close the sunroof so we can exit. Do you notice there was a hole there before on the second floor? Boss key! Yeah! This temple's easy! Head on over to this boss door that was in front of us. Beat the boss and get the element. Easy, squeezy, lemon, peasy. I want to get some health first. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's in a giant block of ice. Yeah, we'll probably have to go through the temple again. Oh, giant Octorok rock frozen ice. down first. We're gonna grab ourselves the map. Boom. Three floors. Two will mainly be traversing. So now that we have that, we're gonna head on over. Just dive to go under this um, spike barrel. Steel spike barrel. Under the waterfall, you'll find some money, money, money. We're gonna start off by going right. Take it, there we go. And just follow the path all the way down. And I 
I think you know what you gotta do here is use your trusty guest jar and bring that mushroom to me to yourself. Boom! Just open the switch. You definitely know what you have to do next. Whoa! Yep, dive again. Be cool like that. Just unlock uh, that pathway. It's gonna tell you some useful clue, but you don't really need it. That's why you got me. Pretty much a giant pot. You do you break pots to get stuff. In this case, you just go inside it. Bam! There's a key. So now we can just head back. We're gonna have to climb up uh, the waterfall. Part of the game, so we're gonna keep on moving, and then we're gonna head back the same way. underwater or enough momentum so you leave and keep going without you it's all the way at the end without you having to do anything and you just keep moving And then you'll see a lot of uh, old friends. Like, that was pretty terrible right there. Luckily, we have a place to escape to. Even though we really don't need to preserve health. Five times longer. Nothing over there. Where do we find the compass? We 
head back out. We're gonna go up this time. dock right now. So we're just gonna push this leaf pad all the way around before we do anything else. gonna dock it if this bug will stop freaking hitting me. Bitch. Okay. Then we can move on. What you wanna do is go to the utmost ice block and we're gonna push it down. First. You head all the way up. <laughs> and an annoying little rambling thing. Okay. Now, again, I'm gonna put the uh, upmost block down. <laughs> then right. Then down again, then left, and then up. So that was down, right, down, left, up. We start with the utmost block. Now we can move forward. We'll just check on what's over here real quick. Something that we'll have to come back to. Mark it down. Spoiler alert, it's not that important, especially, you know, something hidden like that, but if you want to be like me and get all the treasures, mark it down, or remember it, either way. Okay, you want to stay up against the wall. You're going to be heading, you're going to be heading towards the up part of the screen, but you want to stay up the, against the light. Pretty much up against the wall. We'd be up, right, up, right. Okay, 
a slippery path, fall off the edge, so you want to be careful here. You don't want to go too fast. At least if you do, make sure you compensate by going the other way once you reach the end or the edge. Left path will take you to the chest, and the right path will take you where you need to go. Here's the kingstone. If you're not really doing the kingstone side quest, then you don't need to really get that treasure. Especially if you're worried about falling off and stuff and wasting hearts. Right path you definitely don't need to go to. Because we have the technology. Okay, another ice puzzle. lever to open the door on top. Then we'll head back down and open that door once more and ta-da! We'll have unmelted our treasure chest. Come on. It's like Temple One enemies all over again. We need more originality. That's okay. Well, we know how to beat them, so this will be no problem. Awkward Poners, I'm going to have to cut off the video here.
we get a lantern yes all right join me in our next video legend of zelda the minish cat part two temple of ice See you later, and visit awkwardponers.com, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter at awkwardponers, and follow us on roosterteeth.com. And send us your suggestions for video walkthroughs that you'd like to see us do at awkwardponers.com or any of the other places we suggested at awkwardponers.com slash contact us. Peace.